So, people, um, it's Odin and Blake, and we're here to um, well, review a uh, ready to drink from Bilson's. And Bilson's distillery is up in the Victorian town of Beechworth, and they do a couple of really nice gins, and they do a lot of pre mixes that I simply haven't tried before. I was up in Beechworth about oh, three months ago or so. How, how long does it take to get to Beechworth? From the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, it takes a about uh, four hours because Ooh. we, Selena and I were actually camping in Mount Samaria National Park and then doing day trips out of the park into Beechworth, Yakandanda, Murray, crossed into Albury, had lunch, traumatised the locals, went <laughs> very Victorians, <laughs> and you know, just back across the border. So we were using Mount Samaria National Park with its free camping as a base. Um, and that's Mount Samaria for those of you who find um, Mansfield at the end of Marina Highway and then basically shoot north into a whole lot of plateau we went past a whole lot of so, yeah. forest um, log, you know, pine plantations and stuff like that it's really a quite isolated part of the world and Selena and I went there because it was our first time away from the twins in like five years yep. and we just guess that that's it we're getting the hell out of Dodge where we can't be reached and we'll literally call on the kids from the same roadhouse on the Hume Highway at the same time every day where are you dad not home <laughs> where are you going don't know when are you gonna come back I made the decision yet <laughs> And they could hear the same background noise every day. So we went up to Beechworth amongst one stops, stopped off at um, Bilson's Distillery, and we at, were there when the door opened at 12 o'clock. And by half past 12, the place was just chock, bustling, just full. It was literally full. Nice. There was you know, standing room only. And literally boxes, I mean, big boxes of their ready to drinks were flying out the door. I'm sitting thinking, well, okay, there are now three licenses to print money in, in Victoria. There's the Mint out in Faulkner, there's Crown Casino on South Bank, and there's Bilson's <laughs> Distillery in Beechworth because these guys were making an absolute killing. Um, and we decided, okay, eventually, I'm going to have to bite the bullet. And because Blake's not only my good friend, he's also an incredibly brave guy to actually sit here and um we'll do this for me do it anytime anytime you want especially when odette's around as well i don't mind uh, having a little chat with odette as well but uh she won't be trying these ones today no, this is a bit too upmarket for odette um <laughs> mind you um anyone who um you go and check out odette's review of underberg rum you find out just how bad things can Fight get and syrup oh yeah yeah um so what you're saying is it was a long, uh, very long trip to go and get Bilson's. So yep. let's see if it's actually worth that trip. I'm, I've never drunk a rainbow sherbet or sherbet in my entire life. Hmm. The bottling can people, which should be appearing between us two, says that it's triple distilled, made with pure spring water. Now often pure spring water means it came out of a tap. So does that mean that we're going to get a, a nice smooth taste or is it going to be fizzy? It's not going to be I fizzy. It's fizzy. It, there's a whole lot right up on the back. Um, it's a perfectly sparkling mixed spirit drink. Um, oh, yeah. I hate it when my ghosts get mixed. Um, <laughs> exactly what spirit is in the... So, a little bit of a write-up here. I like what we're reading this now. In 1865, Bilsons became famous for full-flavoured, exciting beverages of all descriptions. Over 150 years later. Whoa, I didn't realise 150 years. Holy hell. And we continue to source the finest it's local ingredients. Yeah, over 150 years because it's 158. Huh? Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, there you go. So, yeah, 1865, we're now established. Um, we still believe our best flavor creation is yet to come. So, while we're working on it, enjoy this one. So, this is so they're obviously experimenting, which is good to see, I guess. Which means if we think this is vile, then they can turn and say, oh, well, our best is yet to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that, it's, you know. Um, a bit like my kids come to me and go, well, Dad, can I go and give my younger brother a slap across the head and get away with it? And we look and go, you may test that assumption at your convenience. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of like um, <laughs> Vol Kl Klingon or Vulcan for just try that shit and find out. Yeah. Just run with it and see where it ends, sunshine. And even with my kids, it's when I look at them and go, you may test this assumption at your convenience. Yeah. Even the eight-year-olds look at me and go... Yeah, perhaps that wasn't the sharpest move. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll do that today, Dad. So but let's yeah. hope this is a bit more of a sharpest move, a sh sharper mood. Um, well, after Odette interview, reviewed um, Bundaberg Rum and Coke, um, which would have to be 
<laughs> I think he put so much vile into mm. one can. It beats me. Let's hope this is the exact opposite. I might even pour some into a glass to see if we can see if there's a rainbow. Let's see the sound of happiness. There we go. That sounds good. So that does sound like uh, there's a bit of a fizz. It looks like it's blue in flavour, in colour. It is blue. Look at that. Looks like uh, my uh, my mouthwash in the morning. So let's okay. see if it tastes like mouthwash. There is no truth in advertising. Where's the rainbow? Yeah. Well, I want my rainbow. I paid for my rainbow. Oh, well. Down. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. It, it tastes like my... um. Oh, it tastes like sour candy water. Yeah. Okay. Reason me said one of the ingredients is this is lemonade. Yeah. Um... Mm. So I can feel oh. the fur growing on my teeth already. So I can see if you wanted to have a quick and easy, were they cheap? Oh, they were about, yeah, $24 for a four pack. So about six bucks a pop. Okay, so they're not going to be an expensive night. So there is better value out there. Yeah. So you triple distilled. You can you can definitely taste the, the smoothness, right? So you can't really taste the, uh, the potency, which is what you want when you're younger. And you want to smash a few and you want to get them down, yeah? But um, there's very much a very sugary, uh, sweet, sour taste. So I think it's true when they say in the back there, we still believe our best flavour creation is yet to come. And it hasn't yeah. come in this can. Yeah, this is a work in progress. Yeah. Um... Ooh. It's not vile. No, no, that's right. It's, it's not vile. We've definitely um, reviewed worse, and I've definitely seen Oda and Blanche review quite a few worse ones. Oh, and Oda and Chantel, and um, Chantel's yeah. grandmother. <laughs> oh, I saw. Oh, yeah, Chantel's grandmother. Lovely lady, isn't she? She was cracking on un under her debt, for God's sake. Oh, okay, maybe not. So that would have been the Bundaberg that done that. Yeah. But I can Bundaberg, tell you what. Back in Bundaberg room, um, room, results in children all over Queensland. Um. <laughs> So I can tell you what, I'm not going to be um, cracking on to you at all with this one, Odin, because I know I'm not going to drink enough for me to get that um, that drunk, I don't think. Um, see, this, this begets an interesting experiment, is would you be wanting to drink enough of this to actually result in the hangover you think you're going to get? Yeah, well, the amount of sugars in it, I think it's going to skip the hangover. Oh, yeah. I think and um, I think you're going to be right. I think this would result in a rather bone crushing hangover. Actually, one thing I just noticed, which is, that, oh no, that's okay, so it's different for everyone. Don't, don't worry. That's okay. Yeah. No, I was seeing there, I was like, how this is not linked up within the middle, but that's okay. It's, they're meant to not be that way. Yeah. No problems with that one. Um, so it's, it's a pretty colour. I'm rather disappointed. I've got my rainbow. Yeah. Hey, awesome. Lion. It's just like getting striped paint. You think you're going to get striped paint, but it's, uh, it's all moving in together, isn't it? Oh, true, true story. Um, <laughs> I, I am at the bottom end of a large family, and um, proof that I am actually the smart one in my family. When my oldest brother began his um, fitting and turning apprenticeship just outside Mackay, um, he got sent on a job. He got sent to help find a special tool. And my father happened to be working at the same sugar mill. And he sees my older brother wandering around, looking at high and looking at low, and everyone go, "I oh, know it's over there," and they're going on. Eventually, my father stopped his eldest child and said, "Um, what are you doing?" And they go, "Oh, they've sent me on an errand." And first day of the apprentice, and you know, sent me on an errand anyway. My father goes, "Yeah, that sounds reasonable." What are they, what are they sent you looking for? And he goes, oh, they sent me looking for the six-inch populating tool." <laughs> Sit in his pants. Yeah, my father looked at him and went, "Um." David, <laughs> you haven't been all that far. In fact, we wish me said you've been playing with it for a while. <laughs> so it's definitely proof that I am the chap on my family. Yeah. Mind you, there, he knows my ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I'm not so smart after all. <laughs> um, having said that, I am too smart to go drinking a lot more of this. Yeah. Yeah, so this one, if you want to... It, it's worth a try, just to get the try, uh, but not much more than that. You're not going to get much more value out of it, I yeah. don't think. It's a bit like kissing my ex-wife. It's okay, okay, I've, I've had, been there, done that, I've had the experience, now let's move on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I look. I wouldn't even be drinking this on a really hot 
Summer's Day, it would have to be... This would actually make a really nice slushy. Oh, actually, yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh, cool there. But you'd need to add a fair bit more vodka. Yeah, and then you add your own vodka on top and get that slushy. Yeah, actually, yeah. That, this tastes like it's, it's a slushy. That's not a slushy. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. like a watered down slushy. Basically, get um, these come in four packs. Grab a couple of four packs. Whack them in the freezer. Um, tip in some well overproof vodka so it doesn't freeze. And basically, turn the sucker into um, a slushy. Slushy. Yep. That's a good, good call. This would be the way I would drink it. Um, so it's June now that we're doing the reviewing. Yeah, I'd be waiting six months, um, wait until these go on Christmas sale, and <laughs> or going up to um, Beechworth and picking up a slab of six. Um, but these babies, as a vodka slushy, I think would really work. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can feel my teeth going. Very already. Yeah, having said that, I um I will be brushing my teeth before I go to bed tonight. Yeah. Um when the fact that they're spurring up both our teeth indicates that they are um, putting uh, yeah, a lot a lot of ingredients on this can. In fact I can't see any. Um but the furriness suggests that there is at least one shit ton of um sugar in this baby. Yeah. And still a lot of the fact is is that the older drinkers who are watching this are going, okay. <laughs> if sugar and flavorings and colorings have gone in, then the essential simple fact of the matter is they've taken quality out. Yeah. Um, I think that's what's happened here. You're looking at a whole lot of gins over between our shoulder over our shoulders, and I can tell you the average price of those gins is about a hundred bucks a bottle. Um, <clears throat> and the result is, is that if I drink, um, say. That navy spirit from here, which is up from Machuca, I go and drop most of that bottle. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up hangover tomorrow. Of course I am. It's the navy, and I'm you know about being well and truly. Um, as she always said, my wife would call it rather unwise. Um, but I drink a liter of sugar tea tomorrow morning, and I'm gonna be feeling at least halfway human by about midday or lunchtime at the latest. Whereas if I go out and get absolutely wasted on this stuff. I'm not going to feel really halfway decent until at least Wednesday because of flavorings and just cheap alcohol. And that kidney is going to be stinging for a while. Yeah, um, the, the migraines would just make me want to just die and this would be a migraine inducing event. Um, so I will be having one of these Rainbow. tonight. Rainbow Sherbet, that pretty much sums it up. Perhaps we pee rainbows. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is Bilson's Rainbow Sherbet Triple Distilled Vodka. Um, and note to the good folks at uh, Bilson's, I'd be whacking a lot more vodka into this. Yeah, get that. But you got to bump those numbers up. Yeah, three and a half percent. Um, this is a mid-strength beer. Um, it's about pretty average for RTDs, but for God's sake, um, if you Bilson's produces gin, if you produce gin, um, it's gin is just vodka with juniper flavouring. Um, Take, take the juniper out of your still and, um, you know, make a lot more vodka and just simply whack into this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for watching. Um, and, yeah, i got no idea what I'll be reviewing. I'm a married man. I, I'm used to getting told what to do. Mm -hmm. He's in a, a long-term relationship. He's getting well and truly house-trained. Yep. So, thank you for watching. There'll be more RTDs to be horrified with in the coming weeks. And... Subscribe, follow. Yep, subscribe. Tell your friends. Good night. Bye.